Hello and welcome back to Say Yes to the Mess. This is episode three. We hope you enjoy the stories that we've been sharing. Uh, thanks for the feedback so far. If you're enjoying them, uh, we'd love it if you would like the video or leave a comment or subscribe so we know uh, that you like them and we can keep making them for you. Uh, they're a lot of fun to hear all these stories and we hope you enjoy listening. Had a few people ask if we could make them a little longer and so we are working on that. Um, this story from Joe and Rebecca today uh, is we left in a little more detail and uh, there's a little kind of back and forth. We shared a few stories uh, from our side too. So we hope you enjoy it. Uh, this is episode three. This episode is brought to you by Instagram, a social media platform for sharing photos with your friends. It's like Facebook, but different. At Instagram, we take your privacy very seriously. That's why we have all users sign a privacy policy that clearly states, oh look, puppies. If you like photos of homemade sourdough bread or ads about things you were just discussing with your spouse that we totally weren't listening to, check out Instagram. So thanks to Instagram for sponsoring the show. Here's our friends, Joe and Rebecca. And I'm Joe, and we're at JPG Photo and Video in Philadelphia. Um, all right, well, so about five years ago, uh, this lovely bride had contacted me saying how much, you know, just she loved our work and had this interesting idea is that she wanted to have a wedding at a campground in rural Virginia. I got really excited very quickly. And <laughs> she started telling me, you know, that the games they're going to have and the bonfire and just you know and then she sent us pictures of the two of the couple and they were really cute and she's got a lot of tattoos it's just going to be like a really kind of different kind of wedding meanwhile um, i grew up in rural pennsylvania so i'm you know i'm like a campground you know not necessarily the most exciting destination <laughs> wedding for me uh, to, to. Uh, but you know joe mr suburb is like oh yeah this sounds so exotic and fun <laughs> Yeah, I would be on Joe's end of things, but I think we all know that like these other things can be awesome or they can go really badly. <laughs> right. yeah. We were hitting some ridiculous traffic. You didn't sleep. I, I, I had no sleep too. And I'm like, really like, oh, we got to get there. You know, you can't be late. And I think we were end up being like 10 minutes late and I'm so frazzled and I'm upset. Mm -hmm. No one, no one is there. Couldn't no one, find anyone. The bride, no one knows who the bride is. No one knows who the groom is. Yeah. We, when we finally found them, they're just sitting there like staring at each other. Yeah. It's beyond dress down. Like we're, we're excited they had pants on. We think <laughs> that's the point. Yeah. And then, you know, after five minutes, I'm guessing to make me stop or just because they didn't, they were about to themselves. They're like, yeah, you want to go smoke with us? And I'm just like, oh, I'll take some photos first, uh, you know, yeah. maybe a little bit later, you know, yeah. something like that. And I'm like, maybe later, but you don't even smoke. What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Well, you were stressed. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what you're going to say at that point. <laughs> you were like, no. They show us to what I'm picturing in my head as like a romantic cabin. Okay. It's like a juvenile detention center. <laughs> <laughs> there are like eight bunk beds in okay. the same big room, concrete floor. No bathroom. Plastic in this building. mattress. Yeah, I, right. No right. bathroom in the building. And I said to Joe, oh, wow. Like, we don't have sheets. <laughs> <laughs> and the people showing us, you know, we ask them, like, what do we, where do we get sheets and towels? Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, you didn't bring them? Uh... <laughs> So at that point, I looked in the GPS, which, you know, we were getting really spotty cell signal because we're in the yeah. middle of nowhere. The nearest store is a Walmart that is an hour away. <laughs> well, I guess the wedding party mysteriously left, right? Well, that's what you're So, yeah, to. right before yeah. the reception, the wedding party disappears to, I guess, because they didn't want to wait so long to eat. Okay. So they drove that same hour alcohol. that I drove to Walmart to try to get more pizza and beer. Oh, yes. Right? That's what it was. But meanwhile, the reception is starting, so they go to do introductions, and there's the, the <laughs> wedding party. <laughs> They're off getting no, pizza but, and beer, and because there's no cell, like barely any cell phone service, no one's getting in touch with anyone, and I, she ends up walking in just without the wedding <laughs> at all. Like during during dinner, at some point, this 
the one person who wasn't in the, the bridal party who actually probably did more work than the bridesmaids. That happens okay. too often, right? Um, we thought she was befriending us, and I think she was, but maybe because she wanted something else. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. Long story short, we find out a, she tells us two things. One, the campground and how it's broken out. It's broken out into basically weed, cocaine, and threesomes. <laughs> and <laughs> we were put into the weed area. Okay. Um, but she wanted to know if we wanted to move into the threesome area. <laughs> and... <laughs> Yeah. We were cool with um, not doing that. With not moving, yeah. <laughs> um, flattered, but not, not really down for that at the wedding. Still trying to, I don't know, for some reason, I'm still trying to be professional at this point, even though yeah. that has gone out the window the rest of the time. And so this is, this is where I have to interrupt you and, and say that this has actually happened to us twice now. Um, <laughs> Um, once while we were like actually working where it was like, it was very subtle and then it got <laughs> gradually a little less subtle to the point that we looked at each other. We were like, what, what is going on what right going now? On? <laughs> and then, um, the other time it wasn't a gig we actually took because they were just straight up pretty much upfront with it in their email. And we were just like, yeah, but we have some friends who might be a good fit for you. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. That's so awesome. yeah. Yeah. It must be the casualty of the uh, married photographer duo. Yeah, I, I, maybe maybe we all just put off this vibe, I guess. Hey. Just, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I got to stay. There's this bonfire at the end of the night. One of uh -huh. the things they've been talking to me about the entire time. And then it starts to... It, like it starts to drizzle, starts to really rain, and they call it off. Okay. And we look at each and other. And the bride and groom disappear. Oh, the bride and groom disappeared from the reception. After <laughs> we're like, okay, if they're not even staying, they were gone a good hour. We were sure they were taking care of things too, which is totally fine. But like, everyone has gone to their designated tent area, <laughs> camping area, except us. And yeah, we're we're like, let's we're get, like, get out of here. Out of here, you know. Yeah. Um, and but then we couldn't leave because the campground was gated, and like we tried to. Get out. <laughs> I almost cried. I think I did cry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I need to and get out of this we're place. like, we don't. We couldn't even remember how we got out that night. Yeah, you just reminded me of like four of my own stories, just in that one. <laughs> <laughs> just in that one story, <laughs> including the time that we got stuck on the way to a wedding because it tried to drive us through a river. And, oh, um, oh wow. what was the GPS sent you the wrong way or the couple did? Yeah, so we were driving to a wedding. It was on the Chesapeake Bay. The hotel where the wedding was was right on the river. And it was real deep, like south in the bay. So the bay's like relatively wide at that point, and there's only bridges like every hour or two. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. We used to be around there. Yeah. So the yeah. the GPS is this is old school GPS, like gps on the window yeah right um and so it's taking us down taking us down we're like one minute away and it's like turn right and then it shows a picture of a boat <laughs> like okay now get on a boat <laughs> and try to go across the river oh my <laughs> and it was, it was like midnight and we're just like all right well we have to start at 8 a.m the next morning and we have to drive an hour and a half back up cross the bridge and then an hour and a half down the other side of the river so exactly where you we were. got to the hotel yeah. at three in the morning it was a B and B, so then you have to find someone to check in. You yeah. get like three hours of sleep, and yeah. It was oh wow! I'm oh, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. I mean, this is the craziness of this job. But and then, GPS once sent us through a farm on the way to a wedding. Yeah, like a that. tiny dirt yeah. path through a farm. Not a <laughs> yeah, like we made a turn, and all of a sudden we were facing a tractor, and we're like, <laughs> this doesn't seem right. Yeah. Wow. So so we have a. We have a drug-fueled wedding with proposed threesomes and, uh, and you guys sleeping in a cabin on a plastic mattress with no sheets. Yeah. That's pretty good. With the other pot-smoking people. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Well, thanks. <laughs> thanks for sharing. Thank you. <laughs> thanks for bringing that back up in that yeah. painful memory. Yeah. <laughs> David. It's our pleasure. Um, sounds good. Uh, we miss you guys. We wish you yeah. health and safety, yeah, you and AIM and your whole team. Yep, same to you guys. Yep, we'll uh, we'll be back at it soon enough, hopefully.